Welcome back, Mrs. Sewell here with an informational text, a science book, if you will, about seasons changing. It's a great story. I hope you enjoy it. It's facts about our spring. Snowman minus cold equals puddle. Spring equations written by Laura Purdy Salas and illustrated by Misha Archer. Science plus poetry equals surprise. As winter gray drains away, spring tiptoes in. It sprinkles color and motion and sound all around. Each sunny day, soft breeze and spring shower changes our world. Science is why and how a flower grows. Poetry is looking at that flower and seeing a firework. Surprise! Early spring, warmth plus light equal alarm clock. During the winter, some animals hibernate to survive the cold. As they snooze, their heart rate and breathing slow way down. Hibernating animals wake up when spring days grow warmer and longer. Snowman minus cold equals puddle. Water is a shapeshifter in northern winters. It might fall as snow, but when spring temperatures rise above freezing, snow melts into water. Sad news for snowmen. Stream plus snow melt equal stampede. As mountaintop snows melt in spring, the water flows downhill and joins rivers rolling toward the ocean. A stream can swell into a racing river just for spring. Riverbank plus otter equals playground. Some animals play all year long. In spring, otters slip and slide in the dirty slushy snow. <laughs> no mittens, no hats, just messy, muddy, mucky fun. Bark plus beak equal drum. Tap, tap, tap. A downy woodpecker bigs, digs for bugs in a tree. Tap, 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 tap. It drums faster in spring to claim its territory or attract a mate. Maple trees times buckets plus boiling equal sticky smile. Maple syrup starts with trees. When spring days warm up, but nights still freeze, sugary sap flows beneath maple trees' bark. People collect the sap and boil it down until it is thick and sticky and perfect for pancakes. Mmm, doesn't that sound delicious? Mid-spring. Big beaver plus big beaver equals little beaver. Happy birthday. Many baby animals are born in spring. A newborn beaver kit weighs less than a loaf of bread. A spring birthday gives it plenty of time to grow and learn survival skills before winter comes. Talons plus pond equal fast food. In spring, bald eagles that wintered down south fly north again. On their way to the northern United States and Canada, they swoop down to scoop up tasty fish dinners. Sky plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose plus goose, plus goose <laughs> equal arrow. Each spring, many geese migrate north to gobble up tender, tasty new grasses. Geese fly in a V for speed. The front bird's air currents help cur carry the back birds. They all take turns in front and back. Bushes times blooms equal perfume. Lilac blooms are spring's perfume. The sweet scent invites insects and birds to visit. These important visitors 
track pollen from flower to flower, like tracking mud from room to room. Humans just enjoy the wonderful smells. Breeze plus kite equal ballet. In spring, the sun sails higher in the sky. It shines down and warms the air near the ground. As the warm air rises, wind rushes in to fill the empty space. That creates billowy, blustery, kite-flying days. Bumblebees times flowers equals blueberries. Mmm, yummy. Bees help feed us. When bees sip nectar from spring flowers, they help spread pollen from one plant to another. Plants need this pollination to grow juicy blueberries and other fruits. Nest plus robin equal jewelry box. Robins lay dazzling blue eggs in spring. Some scientists believe that the most vivid blue eggs have the healthiest chicks inside. The blue shells might act like sunscreen, protecting the chicks from sun damage before they hatch. In spring, scout honeybees leave their hive to find food. When they succeed, they return to spread the word. Bees fly out. In, out, in, out, in. <laughs> you could get dizzy watching busy bees. Hive plus bees minus bees plus bees equal airport. Lake plus warmth equal sky castles. In many places, spring is the wettest season. Rain is part of the Earth's never-ending water cycle. Water falls, flows into lakes and rivers and to the sea, evaporates, and forms clouds. Then, mm -hmm, the cycle <laughs> begins all over again. Deer plus tree equal umbrella. What do animals do when it rains? Deer might huddle beneath branches using a tree as a big, leafy umbrella. Seeds minus umbrella equal flowers. Have you heard the saying, April showers bring May flowers? Animals might hide from spring rain but plants drink it up. Seeds need soil, air, and plenty of water to grow. Sun minus storm equal rainbow. Rainbows also need rain. It's right there in their name. A rainbow appears when it's sunny where you are, but raining nearby. Raindrops bend light, so it separates into different colors. Rainy spring days are perfect for spotting rainbows. Late spring, dusk plus skunks equal parade. Late spring means feeding lessons for baby skunks. Skunks are nocturnal. So as day turns to evening, a mama skunk marches through the meadow to look for grubs and bugs for supper. Her kits follow her, watching and learning. One dandelion times one breath equal 100 parachutes. <laughs> Dandelions are a weedy, seedy sign of spring. Plants spread their seeds in many ways. Dandelion seeds float on the wind or your breath. One seed might drift 500 miles before landing. Frogs plus night equal symphony. 
In the spring, male frogs croon their hearts out to an audience of female frogs. Different species have unique voices, like the different instruments of an orchestra. Gray tree frogs, frogs chirp high and fast, like piccolos. Bullfrogs honk low and loud on their watery trombones. <laughs> on clear, dark nights, constellations shimmer across the sky. In spring, the water serpent, Hydra, slithers overhead, and Leo the lion stalks the night. The hero Hercules raises his club, ready to take on both creatures. Sky minus day equals stories. You plus the world equals who? Hmm, question mark. That's unknown possibilities, isn't it? Spring changes the world, and it might change you too. What happens when you explore the wonders of spring? That's an equation only you can solve. When spring starts, maybe you're waiting for spring. You're excited for kites and puddles and ducklings and baseball games. But when does spring actually begin? That's a hard question to answer. Where you live affects when you will experience spring. For instance, in late March, Minnesota kids might still be building snowmen, while Florida kids are splashing in the Atlantic Ocean. Here are a few different definitions of when spring begins. Meteorologists, scientists who study weather, after the end of the three coldest months in any specific place. Mm -hmm. Astronomers, those are scientists who study space, say that it starts on the spring equinox when day and night are the same length between March 19th and 21st for the Northern Hemisphere. Gardeners claim that uh, it's when the last wintry frost is thawing. Daffodils are blooming and seeds are whispering, so me, water me. Kids in northern climates, <laughs> when grown-ups don't force you to wear a heavy coat anymore. <laughs> and here's a wonderful further reading list for teachers, educators, and parents alike. And of course, my eager readers. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story as, as much as I did. Lots of great information all about spring. Until we can be together again. Goodbye.